I remember when I was actually a prospective student at Launch Academy and I labored over the difference between, oh, should I do a Ruby boot camp or a JavaScript boot camp or a Python boot camp, et cetera? What's really the most important decision is that you choose to switch careers and invest in this skill set. Um, inevitably, you're going to see like pros and cons to both. I think, in my opinion, uh, 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 Node.js is going to be a lot more configurable and probably, in some cases, more performant. Um, but because it is more bleeding edge, because it is newer, maybe you are going to have a, a few extra frustrations when you're in development mode with it. Whereas in Rails, because there is well-established conventions, conventions, as long as you're following those conventions, it's a speedier development process. So again, like. Uh, 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 you have you have different options to choose from. Both of them are valuable, and both of them will give you the skill set to to land a gig. The key thing is is to just keep persevering and keep pushing with one language. Don't kind of go halfway and then decide, oh, you know what? Maybe I'm just learning the wrong language. You're going to lose momentum and a sense of progress that way. Um, so it's really important to just kind of pick one and stick with it. I think for me, it's it's don't wait. Right. Uh, both technologies are in demand. Uh, both technologies uh, definitely have a captive market uh, for sort of developers coming in and, and finding gainful opportunity. Uh, you know, I think people tend to get hung up on the technology, and we don't want that to be an impediment for anybody looking to change their career in software development. We love software. Uh, we love teaching the fundamentals of software development, knowing that the technology is going to change over time. So what you're going to be learning at its core, whether it's in Rails or in Node, uh, it, the, the core is still going to be the same and the fundamentals are still going to be consistent. Um, it just is kind of like a different flavor on the same uh, meal. Uh, so to speak. So, you know, uh, I, I would just encourage you to just get started um, and think about, um, you know, how you can make the most of the time that you have. Uh, it's all about in this industry, in my opinion, the the opportunity cost. And the longer you wait, the more the technology is going to pass you by, right? So don't wait, get started, get invested in a technology and stick with that technology. The language that you are choosing to learn first will not close doors to you in the future. It will simply allow you to understand the coding concepts better so that then you can figure out, you know, what paths are open to you and which of them you want to walk down. Inherent in choosing to be a software developer um, is choosing to also be a lifelong learner, um, as we like to say, like, this is your foot in the door, but you are going to have to learn an enormous amount uh, more technologies, concepts, design patterns, professional skills in terms of working on a team even. Um, this is step one, and it's, it's going to get you your first entry level uh, uh, software engineering job. But then after that, <laughs> like you don't, you don't get to just be cozy. You get to, as long as you are hungry for it, continue to consume more of these uh, uh, different technologies and discuss and be a part of the way in which um, the whole industry moves forward, right? As a software developer, especially given how open source everything is, you are going to have a say in, in how even uh, uh, certain libraries and packages and even languages uh, are used. So um, just take the plunge. Uh, 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 sometimes I like to say to the students, live the YOLO lifestyle. Um, and uh, uh, dig in and, and, and you'll be able to you know, do pretty much whatever you want after that. Um, be be a, a mobile developer, be a web developer, work in DevOps, uh, work more closely with databases. Um, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do once you have that sort of foundational skill set.